Hey, it's Greg with Scholar Farms and we're here at Blue Oak Ranch in the hills above San Jose and we are ground truthing drone data. We're matching the imagery to the plants on the ground to talk about water. We're here with Kelly Easterday, the postdoc on the project. Kelly, tell us a little bit about what we've been finding. So we have different treatments. Tell us the treatments. So the treatments we have here in this coyote brush patch is that we have a water treatment, we have a control treatment, and we have a treatment that we've been cutting every other day. We're cutting plants. We're cutting plants and we're testing them for their water potential and their water stress and we're matching that up with some of these these high resolution uh, thermal imagery, multispectral imagery, imagery and RGB imagery that we're trying to look at at both high spatial and high, high temporal resolution. So we've been flying a lot. A lot. So we started at like 7 or 8 in the we morning. We started at 7 and we've been going until now about 8. Yep, we're flying and then we're flying and we're flying some more. And tell us a little bit about what we're finding in terms of as the plants dry out. So with the coyote brush, we're actually finding that almost the day after we cut it, it's completely water stressed. Like the fuel moisture on this thing, as you can see These some things, of the leaves. They're crispy. They're just they're falling crispy. off. We can't pull any water content out of some of this stuff. And so a day after, you're actually seeing a spectral signature change yep. in a lot of this. So they're not as green. The yeah, not as green as the plants behind us. You can see like nice healthy coyote bush behind us. Uh, and these things are kind of brown. Yeah, they're, they're browning out. They're curling up, which, mm -hmm. chased, which changes the reflectance too, yep. as well as, and when they do dry up, they actually get a little bit hotter and we're seeing that in our thermal yep. imagery. Temperatures are spiking, leaves aren't quite as green and they're drying up, so not as much leaf area in the mix. Um, and so we're tracking this and basically after a couple of days, it's toast. Yeah, no, I mean, after three days, you don't pull any moisture off of this. And this is really important when we're talking about water content, especially in terms of fires like we've been having across California. And um, this increases your fire potential like nothing other. So it's really important to understand sort of how much moisture these things are retaining after how long when the water is cut off and to understand that in, on this wider scale and we're trying to also scale this up so we're not only looking at coyote brush we're looking at oak ecosystems we're looking at grassland ecosystems mm -hmm. and we're trying to scale that across california and there's a lot of interest also within the drone space in terms of agriculture and water relations and so we can really apply the methods that we're using here to lots of different plant systems both managed in terms of agriculture or natural landscapes um, and so really over the next couple of days, we're just going to continue to fly and then we're processing just a lot of data. A lot of data. I think we got like 50 gigs of data so far <laughs> just today. Um, and we're going to get probably 50 gigs again tomorrow. And so tomorrow we'll look at some of the results and we'll talk about plants and water in the state of California. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Greg. Greg with Scholar Farms. We'll talk to you again soon.